In this tutorial, we're going to go over the new browser, Microsoft Edge, and some of the settings. I'm going to show you how I set mine up. You can adjust yours the way you would like to set it up. I'm going to open it up. I haven't made any modifications yet to the browser. This is a fresh, clean install. I'm going to go over here, go to settings. I prefer the dark theme. There's a light and a dark. I like the dark. Show the favorites bar. We're going to turn to on because I like to have my favorites bar up there. Uh, open with start page. No, we're going to use a specific page and we're going to go to custom and then we're going to www.yahoo.com because I like to go to the Yahoo page. Click the little save over here. Then we're going to, you can adjust uh, with your new tabs open, top sites, blank page, whatever. I just leave it on top sites. Clear browsing data, choose what to clear. Um, depending on what you want cleared, I don't need it to save my form data or my passwords because I have a password manager. I just make it delete everything. I mean, sometimes it beca becomes a, an issue, especially with media licenses and stuff like that. If you um, have any licenses that have to get downloaded to show that you own content, uh, anything like that. But I don't have any of that, so I just leave it all on clear. We're going to go down here to reading view style. It says default, but I put everything on medium. Advanced settings, show the home button, because I want my home button to show up. And I want my home button to go to yahoo.com. Save. Block pop-ups, use Adobe Flash. I don't use carrot browsing. Uh, offer to save passwords. I don't need it to because I have a password manager, save form entries, I don't need that either because my password manager does that. Send do not track requests, you can turn that on, I do. Um, it will only allow if the site allows you to send a do not track request, basically to say that you weren't there. But the it's still gonna it's still gonna show that if it doesn't if it doesn't set out the new the do not track request so it's kind of iffy and on some websites it may not allow you to go on to it because that's turned on so if you're having a problem with a particular site just go in there and turn that off I haven't had any issues okay search in the address bar now in Microsoft Edge there's a new way to add search engines instead of adding uh, the search engine through the App Store or whatever you're gonna go to Let's go to Google, Google search. Okay, you're going to pull the search page or the search engine up that you want first. Go to settings. I'm going to go back down here to view advanced. Then go down here to your search area. Search in the address bar with add new. And it's going to automatically pull whatever search engine you have over here into your results. Click it. Add as default. Now... Google is my default search engine. You can always go back and change it, you know, to whatever you want when you add them all in. Show search suggestions. Yes, do not block cookies. I block only third-party cookies. Sometimes, like I said, that can be an issue, but you can always go back and turn that off. Let's uh, site save protected media licenses. Yes. Um, use page prediction. I turn that on. And protect me from malicious sites. Save all that go back and now we will close it out oop I went to Google let's go 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 to my Microsoft Edge there we go and Yahoo came up our search engine up here is now going to be Google and that's the settings that I use right now um, depending on what any new settings they release in any of the other Microsoft Edge browser you know upgrades I will address those as they come out. Thank you.